and welcome everybody to a very special edition of the crochet crowd i'm your host mikey and today we're working on the crazy h shaw by bernat it's just been released in a new ebook on december of 2011 and my god what an amazing book and you know of 2011 i have to say mosaic has been my most favorite yarn and i'm always harping on how much i love it but you know what honeys i love it it's great stuff and a new pattern has come out there's actually lots of new patterns in the free ebook available at bernat.com but today's tutorial I'm gonna focus on the crazy eights shawl oh my god isn't it just fabulous look how it just it, it, it's just amazing the colors the way that they're working is absolutely amazing now I believe that my my viewers are actually pretty intelligent so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually make the crazy eight configuration but the border I'm gonna leave up to you and the attaching so you're gonna actually be able to follow along with this tutorial 100% it's going to be a very long tutorial, but I don't want to leave anybody behind in the dust, and there's lots of little secrets along the way. So let's get started on working on this Crazy H Shaw by Bernat. So like, yeah, I made a quick little mistake when I first started the video. Make sure you leave about 12 to 15 inch of a straggler that is between the slip knot and the end of the string because you're going to want to use that in order to sew the panels together. I forgot to show you that, and I didn't leave any for myself in order to prove that to you as well. So let's get started on this free tutorial by Bernat. To start this pattern and to think about it, we're actually making an S configuration just like so. And what we're going to be doing at the end of this is that we're going to actually be sewing this part together here and here to cause it to actually form just like so. So we're actually using the Bernat mosaic yarn and the mosaic yarn is changing color on its own, creating a really fabulous look. So let's begin working on this tutorial step by step. To make it easier for myself, you just can go to bernat.com and go get this free ebook. And this is the, one of the patterns that are inside the ebook. And this is actually showing the configuration. I'm very much of a chart person versus actually writing and reading directions. So I actually like following along. So what I've done here is I've just printed everything out uh, to what I am actually going to follow on camera. And we're just going to start off. And you will notice that if you follow the lines just like so, you will notice that they're not consistent on either side. So it's not yin versus yang when it comes to this pattern. What's over here is actually over there. For the most part, when it comes to these round elliptical areas over here, they're identical, but it's the space in the middle that is different. Okay. So what I'm going to just do is that you're going to need your crochet hook. You're going to need some Bernat Mosaic yarn. In order to do this pattern, they say you're going to need five balls of the Bernat Mosaic, and it's calling for a five millimeter crochet hook, just like so. And what you're going to need as well is two stitch markers, and I'm just using my just normal stitch markers today. And the stitch markers are going to help you locate um, right in the middle, just like so. So I'm going to use one here and one here so that I know exactly where I'm going to go because I've got to have to follow things up up and down as I'm going so I just have to make sure I'm continuing along properly. So let's get started on this tutorial. Grabbing your crochet hook and the yarn, let's create a slip knot and remember that never counts as one and all you just need to do is to chain. Okay, so just like a rowboat position, just row and pull through. So that was one, two, and three, and I want you to do this 80 times. So I want a chain of 80 at the end of this. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And continue along until you get to 80, and then we'll meet back up and we'll start doing this configuration. So if you're following through in the directions, this is where I've started here, okay, and I've done my 80 going all the way around. So we go around the outside on this part, but on this part we're on the inside, and this is where we're going to start. We're just going to start right at the bottom here and work our way backward. So let's continue. We're going to do uh, seven double crochets fourth from the hook, okay? So one, two, three, and four, and just double crochet and we're going to do that seven times. It actually equals eight because where I just skipped over all those chains, that's considered one as well. So let's go for two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Okay, I just want to make sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the first chain counts as one. And this is where I want you to put the first stitch marker in. Okay, right on the top of that one. And therefore we know exactly where that is when we come back to it. Okay, so just slip it in. And now we want to single crochet 13 more times as we work our way across the chain. So one double crochet um, 13 more times. Did I say single crochet? I don't even remember. But let's double crochet 13 times. So it's one. I'm just going to the next. So just go into each one as you go. It's two. Three. Got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, get ten. 11, got 12, and 13 is this one here. So now that we have our 13 in, we're now going to start doing the curl going in the other direction. So we're going to start pulling it back. And what I want to do is, do is I want to put in a crochet marker at that point. Okay, so we know on both sides now where the start and the stop is right in the middle. So on the outside here we are going to do a six to a six ratio. Okay, so let's begin the first one. We're going to put two stitches together, so we're just going to wrap, go in, pull through, pull through two and hold. Okay, so this is a two together double crochet decrease. Go into the next one, wrap, pull through, two and hold. We now have three on the hook. We're just going to pull through. Okay, so according to the directions, we now have six double crochets right in a row. So let's uh, double crochet six more times into the next area here. Okay, so each one is getting one. We want to do that with a combined total of six. This is three, four, five okay and then the last one is six okay so we have six double crochets in and now we're going to make two together one again so wrap and through pull through and hold wrap through pull through two and hold and then wrap or sorry pull through all three and let's begin again so it's six again so one the next one for two. Always working with the chain is kind of a pain to start with, but it does get easier. That one I put it into the same stitch, so that's got to come out. Let's try that again. So it's two. Three. It's four. five and six okay and the next one now is going to get two together decrease so we're just going to go into the next one pull through pull through two and hold next one just through pull through pull through two and hold and pull through all three okay so we go again so let's get the next six in a row So one, two, three, it's four, five, okay, and six is right here. And then pull through, and then sorry, do your two decrease again. Okay, so we got 
pull through and two and hold. Go to the next one, pull through. I'm talking faster than my hands are actually moving. <laughs> pull through two and hold and then pull through all three and continue again for six in a row. So six is the magic number on the outside of this area here. So that was one, two, three, this is four, this is five, and we got six. Okay, and the next two go together. So we're gonna go pull through, pull through two and hold. Okay, go into the next, pull through, pull through two and hold, and then pull through all three and keep on going. So let's do another six. So one, two, three, Four, it's five, and six is right here. Okay, and now let's go in again. So we're going to go make two together, one. Through, pull through two and hold and the next one wrapping through pull through two and hold pull through all three and let's do another six so one two it's three four five and six okay and the next two are going to come together pull through pull through pull through all three and another six so you got so we got one two three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then two together hold. Whoops, I didn't hold. And the next one, two together. Okay, and then the final is all going to get one each. Okay. So one. And I'm just counting just to see if it's going to work out to the pattern. Two. Three. And then four. And five. So there should be a combined total of five after you do the two decrease, just like so. So, you know, I have an extra, extra stitch left over. I can just unscrew, I can just actually just let this go. I can just actually pull it out really easily and be able to, to do that. It does happen of miscounting. It happens more frequently than we care to admit. Just pull it out, just like so. And voila, you get rid of an extra stitch that way. Okay, so let's move on to your next row, which will be level number two, and let's just turn this material and continue. So if you've done it right, you'll notice that the line below will have a bend in it, and you'll see the S shape taking formation. So let's move up to level number five. Okay, so we're going to go there, and we're going to chain up three. So one, two, and three. And then I want you now to one double crochet into the next stitch available. And the next one, we're going to put two together. Okay, so let's put two. So wrap and through, pull through, 
next one, wrapping through, pull through two, and hold. You got three, pull through all three. So now this layer, the last one was the magic number was, uh, was six, so this one's going to be five. Okay, so we're going to put five double crochets right in a row. So this is two, three, four, and five. Okay, and the next two are going to come together. Okay, so wrapping through, pull through, wrapping through, pull through, pull through all three. And you're going to go right close to the stitch marker. If you just want to continue to follow along with me, you're more than welcome. Okay, so that was one. This is two, three, four, five. And this one will be a two together. So wrapping through, pull through, wrapping through, pull through, pull through, then all three. And now let's do another five. So one, two, three, four. This is five. And now let's put two together again. So the next two come together. Okay, we've gone through that stitch enough times that you probably don't need to explain it. So put those two together and let's do another five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And let's put the next two together. So one and two. Pull through. Okay, and another five. One. It's two. Three. Four. Okay, and five, and put the next two together. So one. Two together. Okay, and now let's do another five. So one, two, three, four, and five. I just wanted to double check something. I'm starting to second guess myself. Okay, well, we're going to put those two together. Okay, and now let's do another five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And put the next two together. Okay. Okay, and that'll be it. Okay. So if you look at the stitch mark, you look at the pattern. It tells you that you have two that goes beyond. Okay. So we're just now gonna uh, crochet all the way to the next stitch marker that you found over here, and it should be a total of. 15. So what I'm going to do before I do that is that I'm going to just move this stitch marker, okay, the first one, and move it up to there so I know where that's starting when I come back. And now we're going to do a total of 15. So just 15 double crochets in a row. That was one. This is two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14 and 15 okay so now let's begin okay and there's a stitch marker so this is right and what I want to just do now is I want to put that stitch marker back on the next line above okay so just right in there just like so so I know where it is when I come back and now we want to go two together on each one of these around this little circle okay so each one gets two double crochets in there so one and then put another one right into the same stitch for two Okay, the next one's going to get one and two. Next one's going to get one and two. Next one's one and two. Next one's one and two. Next one's one and two. And there's still two more stitches left. Okay, a lot of people get confused when it comes to where the ending is. Make sure you do get the final one and two. And then the final one is right into this area here. Okay, don't go into the gap, go into a stitch for two. And that will finish up round number two of our rows. So we don't have a lot more to go and now you can lay it out on the on the table and you can start seeing that the circle is taking effect on one side and going back in the other direction it's taking effect on this side. So this is exactly, let me lift the camera, this is exactly what you're left with now. So when you're working back you're actually coming back around over here back on the inside. So every time we get over here we're actually making this circle smaller but we're making it bigger on this side. It's kind of cool. So let's move along to your next step. Okay. So we're now moving up to line number three today and let's uh, chain up three. One, two, and three. And so we're going to start off with the very first one and it's going to get a double inside. Okay, so the next stitch is going to get a double. So one and two inside the same stitch. So the last time we put two in each when we were finishing off this round, now we're doing a two, one, two, one, two, one. So the next one's gonna get one. The next one's gonna get a two. Okay, and we're doing this all the way till we get to the stitch marker. So one and two. And I don't know why this cat does that all the time now. She loves me, I think. So you got one, and you got two, okay, you got one, and you got two. Cat's distracting me, I do apologize, let me just, she's moved my lighting. She wasn't so cute, I tell you, one trip to the pound wouldn't. <laughs> okay, so one, the next one's gonna get a two. Okay, one. The next one's gonna get a two. One. Oops, yep, so it's two. And according to my directions is that where the stitch marker is, okay, so this one is a one. So where the stitch marker is is the final of this. So this the one should end up with a double. Okay, so the stitch marker is showing exactly where you need to start doing. It's like the runway. It's like the, the straight piece of the middle. Okay, so let's move up my stitch marker uh, from this particular point. going to move it up to where the other line is above so I know where it is and now I need to go 13 okay so it's just 13 double crochets across so one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, so we're not back at the stitch marker, and that's that's fine because if you looked at the pattern, the stitch marker was too over for where you should be uh, when you go to start doing the actual decreasing point. Okay, so this is, the stitch marker is exactly where it should be. Okay, so we're going to start off originally now with two together. Okay, so put your two together in for the next two stitches, pull through, and let's remove out the stitch marker from the line below, and that's where it's going to go. I've tried doing it without the stitch markers in there, it's just harder to do. So this is row number four, or sorry, this is a row number three, but this is actually got to put four stitches now in a row instead of five that we were doing the line before. So that was one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to put the next two together. So the magic number here is on four. So in actual fact, you're actually getting smaller and smaller with less stitches as you're working your way through it on one side, but gaining on the other. So we're now putting four again. So I just did one. This is two, three, and four. And the next two come together. So one, and then the next one, and then pull through both. So let's do it again. So a four, one, two, three, and four, and then put two together. So one and two, pull through. The next one again, so one, two, three and four. Okay, so there's four. Let's uh, put two together again. One and two. Pull through. Keep going. So one, two, three, And four, the next two come together. One and two, pull through. Okay, four again. So one, two, three, and then four. Okay, pull through two together again. Okay, and then keep going. So four. Just had to confirm with the pattern. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, the next two come together. One and two. Pull through both. And then the remainder of what you have here is just one double crochet in each. So one, two, okay, and remember don't forget that last stitch, okay. I make it look easy but sometimes it's harder when you're by yourself to tell which it is. So that concludes row number three of this particular pattern and again here's where we are facing now. I'm going to lift up the camera again and this is exactly what we have going on. A nice beautiful rounded bottom and we're still working our way up through the top. So let's turn the material and now chain up three again. So one, two, and three. And now we're going to do, um, what do we got here? We got three, one, two, and three. So we're going to actually put the first two together. Okay, so going into the first one, pull through, pull through two and hold, pull through, pull through two and hold, and then pull through. Okay, so now the magic number is three. We were doing four last time, now it's three. So one, two, 
and three. Okay, and now the next two come together. So one and two, pull through. Okay, and now three again. So one, two, and three. Okay, and the next two come together. Next one, two, and three again. So this is one, two, and three. And the next two come together. One, and two. Okay, and three again. So one, Two. Just want to verify that. I looked away. So it was three and the next two come together. And now one, two, three again. So one, two, and three. Okay, and the next two come together. So one and two. Okay, and we do three again. So one, two, and three. And then the next two come together. One and two. And I can feel the stitch marker coming up on me here. So let's do three again. So we got one. Two and three, and the next two come together. One and two, and we're exactly where we should be on the pattern. Okay, the stitch marker is exactly where it needs to be, and so I want to take out that stitch marker again and place it up to where I am right now. So, so what do we have here? We have a total of 16 stitches now to be done in a row. So let's continue with that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, so we went past the stitch marker, which is normal. For this one here, we're going to take that out, and we're just going to move it up to where we are right now. Okay, so now with this row on this side, is that we want to put two in the first two, or in the first one, sorry, one and two into the same stitch, and now we want to leave uh, two double crochets in a row. If you look below, you had two together, one, two. So this one is going to be two, and then one and two, and then two together. Okay, so two double crochets right in a row, and then the next one is going to get a two. Okay, so then the next one is going to get a one. Okay, and then the next one is going to get one. So that Okay, and the next one's going to get a two. One and two. Okay, and so the next two in a row are going to get one and one, and then a two again. So one and two. So two more in a row, and then two together. Okay, 
Okay, two more in a row. One and two. And then two more together. One and two. Okay, two more in a row. One and two. And then two together. One and two. So you got actually three stitches left just like so. It's just perfect because we have to finish off with the one in a row, and the second in a row, and then the final will get two. So the final into the final stitch will get two into the same one, and that concludes this round. Okay, so let's lay it back out and see where we are in the pattern. You can really start seeing it taking shape. I'm gonna lift it up. Okay, so this is where we are over here now. Beautiful, nice rounded edges. The colors are transitioning perfectly, and uh, this is going to be good. Don't worry about this angle too much. You know, you still have to come around the edge and then back through here, so this is going to push out just like so. so. Let's turn the material again and let's work our way up again. So let's chain three again one, two, and three. And now for the next, what do we have here? We have uh, two double crochets in a row. Okay, so let's go into the next stitch. So one, okay, and the next one's gonna get one. And then we're gonna put two into that same spot, into the next spot, so one and two. Okay, and so then the next one we're gonna, so we were doing like two gaps and then putting two together in the one below, just there's the two and then there are points. So this one here, we're gonna actually do three. So three double crochets in a row, so one, two and three okay and the next one is going to get two in there so one and two okay the next one's going to get so we're going to do our three in a row again so this is one two and this is three okay so we're going to go two in a row again or two right in the same one again so one and two and now we do three again in a row. One, two, this is three, okay? And then we're gonna put two in, a, in the same hot uh, hole again. Should say stitch. So you're gonna have three again. So one, two, and three, and then two together okay and then one two this cat has a mind of her own three and then two together one and two and then three again so one two And then we keep going. So one, two, whoops, hang on, I made a mistake there. Let's reverse back. We have to make sure that I do two. So sorry about that. So we did two, we did three, and then we do put two together. My sincere apology. We put two into the same hole, I, I apologize. Okay, and then one, two, three, and then two into the same hole for the next one. So one and two. It's very easy to get messed up on this pattern, by the way, just so you know. So the way I've got it worked out is kind of unusual for how I teach online here. So let's, uh, let's continue to move across. So we now have 12 single crochet or double crochets in a row. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so what I want to just do now, this actually fell out, this is, should actually be here. So I'm going to just put out my stitch marker to where I am right now, the 12. And we now want to do a decreasing of stitches just like we were before. Sorry about that. Had to take a quick short break there. I was kind of confused where I was in the pattern. It does happen. And so the next two in a row, okay, will be two together. Okay, so now we were on below and we were doing three underneath and then the two together. So in this round we're actually doing two in a row and then two together. So it's one and two and then two together. So one and two, pull through, pull through all together. And now let's try again. So one and two in a row and then the next two come together. So one, two, and then two, two in a row again. One, and two, and then the next one is two together. One, and two, okay, and two in a row. One, and two, and then two together. And then one, it's two, and then two together, and then one and two again, one and two in a row, and then two together. Okay, and then two in a row again, one. And two, one, and then two together again. Okay, and then the final two, okay, is actually, see this one is actually two together, so it appears that there's three, but there's only two, is just going to be a regular single crochet. And that'll conclude this particular round. Okay, so it gets easier as you get closer to the finishing part. Let's lay it down again and see exactly where we are on this pattern. Okay, so you can kind of really see how it's coming together. We're just going to working on the inside now here and then coming around the outside just like so. So let's turn your material now and let's chain up three. One, two, three. So in the row below, when we were looking at it, we had two together and then there was two in a row. Okay. So what we want to just do with this one now is that there's only going to be one. So the next two are going to come together. So one and two are together. And then the next one is one. Okay. So there's only one single crochet or double crochet in between all the two together one stuff. So the next one's two together again and then the next one is one. Okay, two together. And then one. Two together. And one. Okay, two together. and one. Two together. And one. Okay, so just coming around. Okay, next, so that was one. So two together. And one. And then the final, where the stitch marker is that you can see, it's actually perfect. It's working out just great. 
and we're, and we're finalizing a two together. I'm going to take out that stitch marker so I can do it. Okay, and that's where I want to put the stitch marker back in. Okay, and so now this one here okay, is going to be a total of 14 stitches across, so 14 double crochet. So one, two, three, four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, and 14, okay, so on the row below when you looked at it, okay, so on the row, the actual stitch marker should be in right where I've just uh, pretty well almost finished off, and so right below when we were doing it, okay, we had two together, and then we had a gap of three single crochets in a row. Okay, so on this one here, we actually want to end up with more than that, right? Okay, because we're working our way up. Okay, so then this one will be a total of four of stitches in between. So let's uh, put in the first two together. So one and two. And the next four in a row are going to be double crochets. It's two three and four okay and then the next one is going to be a double okay so let's go for four again so one two three I'm almost second guessing myself, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, so the next one's going to get a double after you did the four, and let's put four more in a row. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then a double. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to make sure my stitch marker is back in a position there. I think it fell out. So I just want to make sure it's still in uh, right where I started. I'm actually really second guessing myself to the point where I want to turn off the camera, but I'm not going to because I think it's right. It's just. <laughs> I think it's right. Oops. Sorry about that. So one, two, three, four, and then the next one is a double. Okay, so let's go for four again. So one, two, three, and four. And then a double. So, okay, so let's put in four, so it's two, three, it's four, and then a double, one, and two for the double. And then four again. So one, two, three, and four. And then a double. Okay, so we actually have two more stitches left on the line, but we're going to do a double. And then the last stitch of this row is a single. So it's a one double crochet at the end. 
Okay, so let's check out where we are on our project. We're really getting close to, to there here. So here's where we are now. So let's move along to our next step. Let's turn our material now and chain up three. Okay, so one, two, and three. And what I want you to do is that I want you to do two double crochets in a row. So one and two. So the magic number in on the line below was actually four uh, double crochets in a row. This one will be five. Okay, so let's put in a double in the next one. So one and two. And then I want you to put five double crochets right in a row. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and now let's do a double. So one, and two. Okay, the next one is going to get a do uh, five double crochets in a row. So this is one, two, three, four, Five. Okay, and let's do a double. Okay, and now let's do five again. So one, two, three, four, that's five, and then a double. One, and two. Okay, let's try it again. So for five in a row, so that was one. This is two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's do a double. Okay, so we got one. And do five in a row. This is going to be two, three, four, and five. Then a double again. If this looks familiar to how you were doing it on the other side, it's actually identical. It's just you're just working on the other, on the other side of the stitch. The in the last one over here, you're making the stitches combined going. Uh, folding in one direction where in this one you're actually making it expand. So this is number one of five, two, three, four, there we got five. Okay, let's do it again. So let's put a double in there. I can feel the stitch marker coming up, so let's make sure we get another five in there. So one, two, three, four. And look at that, you're right in the stitch marker. <laughs> and that was five, okay. And that's fine, the stitch marker is going to be the double. And then we're going to move that stitch marker up. Okay, so now we are going to be doing the magic number of 14. Okay, so let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Oops, I got too many stitches on there. I didn't, I didn't finish that one off. And fourteen. Okay, so we're on the inside again. Let's take the stitch marker out. Okay, 
and now just like well not just like but it's kind of opposite to what we're doing on the line below we had two together and with a single or with a double crochet in the middle with this one here we're doing two together one all the way around so put two together okay pull them together next put the next two together and pull together next two pull together through okay pull them together so you're really pulling that circle tight in the middle there that's why you're doing this step here okay so the two together so you can see that it's gotten very it was very labor intensive on this side but now there's hardly anything left and this is how we're doing how we're doing it so we got two stitches left which is perfect it can't be any more perfect than that and then pull together everything and you're done that round so let's see where we are on our pattern Okay, so this is where we are and you can see that we just got a little section in the middle left here coming around the outside and then just basically everything is going to start pulling together once we get it done. So I'm really, really excited about that. So let's turn your material and we're going to be doing something that's like the upside down Catherine wheel. So let's chain up three. So one, two, and three. And we want to bring everything together. Okay, so what we're just going to do is to go into the first one, pull through pull through two and hold okay and go into the next one pull through pull through two and hold and I want you to keep doing that until you get to all the way to the stitch marker okay and we'll give you a final count on stitches once we get to there so we're bringing everything together okay stitch marker is next okay we're gonna leave that okay and actually, sorry, we do need to get that. There should be a total combined of nine uh, uh, loops on your hook. Pull through all nine. Okay, and now we're just going to begin working along. And you can see that just pull it beautifully, nice and tight in the center area there. And now we're going to uh, double crochet ourselves 17 across. So let's go into the next stitch and double crochet 17. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, you notice I passed the stitch marker, 16, and 17. So on the line below we had five in a row and then two together. So what we're just going to do here is that we're going to put the next two together, one, sorry, we're going to put a double in there. And then we're going to uh, do six double crochets in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the next one's going to get a double. So one and two, and then six in a row again. So one, two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, and now two together. Okay, so double right in there. And now six again. So one, two, three, four. Five and six, and then two together. So it's a double and six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, and six, and then a double, and six in a row again. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then a double, and then a one. For six again, two, three, four, five, and six, and then a double. Okay, and keep on going. So we're almost done. And you just, uh, two, sorry, I was gonna say something else. But I'm, I'm almost out of battery power, so I'm just firing this off. This is four, five, and six. And I cannot believe this entire stitch count maintained itself the whole <laughs> project. I'm so shocked by that. Usually I have to fudge it in some way. And so now I'm going to cast it off at this point. Let's see where we are and just quickly talk about it and move along. So we're now concluded the figure eight or the crazy eight, just like you see here. And basically it's just like we started when I had the other sample, is that that's what it's going to look like. So all you're just going to do now is that when you cut this string here, you're going to leave about 12 inches okay and then you're going to use that same string to uh, basically sew it together just like along the seam just like so okay when I didn't tell you in the very beginning which I'll have to put a disclaimer at the start of this video is that you should have left about a 12 inch um, gap or 12 inch string over here and then you use that same string then to bring it together now on this pattern when you look look at the instructions you're going to notice that you're going to actually attach within sections over here and here and you can just eye that out it gives uh, further instructions to that but this is the more complicated uh, pattern of everything that you need to do in order to create one of these fantastic uh, crazy eight uh, shawl is just like you see on the Bernat.com. Until next time, on behalf of all, or on behalf of Bernat and as well as myself, the Crochet Crowd, thank you very much, and we'll see you all real soon.